Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the Two Against the Overlord run together with Tabcat. Let's go boys. Uh, this is episode 48 and as mentioned in episode 42, 44, um, in this episode I unfortunately lost those three to, due to a hardware crash of my hard disk. So this is going to be a re-recording, which means we're going to focus on the mission itself. Everything that happens afterwards, unfortunately, wouldn't fully match up with what is happening. But instead of just not delivering a uh, mission, I figured you might be interested in how we're going to go about uh, the Shadow Maiden. Time for the Assassin and time to get her down. So let's get a team together and get ready for some really, really solid rumbling. Good, and here we go. So she is averse to Reapers, so I took Doom in uh, instead of our Sniper. We got a Hogbite, Implacable XQ6, Mad Dog and Trojan uh, rocking the show. So we got some cover removal, two Mimic Beacons, a lot of blue screen rounds and some extra oomph ammo uh, to make it hurt. So that should actually be a relatively well-rounded team. Let's get her down on her knees and teach her a good lesson. Oh yeah. Our first time in one of these facilities, so we have to assume the chosen know we're here. That didn't stop us before, and it won't stop us today. You know what to do. Locking on to the chosen's energy signature. Uploading the coordinates now. Understood. Move out. Take pride, XCOM. Pride that you have come further than any of your kind. Pride that your death this <clears throat> Good. I'm pretty sure we're going to see an immediate trigger. No, we're not. All right, interesting. Good. Where do we need to go? So this looks like an abduction chamber. Not sure about this one here. I'm pretty. I'm pretty certain we need to go to the top right. So for starters, let's see if this triggers. We knew there'd be. Oh yeah. Well, it triggers some blade storm, that's for sure. <laughs> Hello. Good, very good. Moving up. Moving out. So the easy version here would be to use a grenade, but I don't want to do that. I want to try to preserve some of our resources. I tell you what, uh, running and gunning to here because we do have counter attack and I want to make sure that we're using every thing at our disposal. Good. That works out well. Because now they need to come through this corridor and that will trigger over uh, blade storm and eventually uh, the counter attack so the front line is safe against the chrysalids although they do have an acidic blood uh, which we got to be a bit careful about I do have an idea how about we're just feeding the Templar with combat presence and uh, said Templar does a double kill There we go. Full-fledged double parry Templar. Overwatch. Bit of an Overwatch. And all we need to do is regain our cooldowns. Oh, 
time you have left. You are not worthy of this world. Blah 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 blah. I heard it all before. Often. Nice little hit. And a random tower in the middle of nowhere. Continuing to just get our cooldowns back. We want to push into this direction further. The elders could have destroyed your race with but a single command. Yet they rebuild your world, offered you hope. Your actions this day are an affront to their generosity. We need to get here. This is the final room, so we're going that way. You can see the outline of the doors between the pillars, a little trick, um, as the rendering here seems to be a bit off. So this way, this way, and then go there. Good copy. Moving on target. I'm on it. On your order. Not a problem. A long approach. I'm on it. I'll keep it under Scanning. watch. Got it covered. Affirmative. Covering now. Good. We're going to move to the entrance door here. To trust the elders, to believe for an instant that they fight for more than just a single world, that humanity is not the center of the but just a small part of a greater whole. Copy that. Okay. Next up. That looks like a very open room. So we're potentially triggering right away. Oh yeah, it's one of those hangers. Yeah. There's not going to be any submission from my part. You can forget about that. Enemies don't use, uh, don't uh, mm, explode these things. So Absolute. we're safe where we are. On your order. Scanning. No one Scanning. Spec the prime, right? Uh, the Overwatches might bite us in the rear well i forgot it's xcom so we won't hit any of the overwatches lightning reflexes there we go okay one overwatch shot hits two hit Okay, let's solve, solve uh, the problem. Cool. One down. Thousands to go, as they say. This one here, uh, pull yourself to an enemy. No, we want to pull uh, the enemy to ourselves. All right, solid miss. That was not so good. Um, in the meantime, the moving to here, flanking, solving this issue. Well done. Eliminated. That's it. 
And we are going to kill the Lancer. Okay. So far, this year is going very much according to plan. There is a final pack in here. I'm pretty sure about that. Might trigger something. Yep. Okay. Oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah. Any form of movement is going to put us. Okay. Locked and loaded. Getting in close. Running and gunning. Uh, I think. We're going to do this, followed up by a big portion of that. Nice, that's a good hit. We're definitely going to parry here. Move up with run gun. Kill this guy. Fabulous. Getting some breaching maneuver. And untouchable. So we're moving closer. That's good. Okay, that did, we don't uh, we did not lose anything with that because uh, we missed. Could have been a kill. Could have been a kill. I will save dual strike for later. Fantastic. Does this uh, now allow us to hand over to Hogbite? Yes, it does. Good. This will mean Bladestorm finishes the mech. And we're just staying put here. Perry. What? Why? Okay. Good. Learned an important lesson. Apparently. Apparently, that grenade still goes through two parries. And deals damage. Target neutralized. Don't like it. Can't say I'm a big fan of it. And sure we have just wasted our first nano med kit. Don't move. You'll be all right. Sucks. But I think other than that, um, we played uh, the entire section here relatively well. Not much of that was happening. We haven't used any consumables other than the ones that I talked about. And we are back to full.
focus on top of it. Great. That's a random burning, although we were not burning. So XCOM is really trying to pull out all of the shenanigans that you can think of just to dish out some damage. Can understand it if you are if you're a sore loser, then you're trying to do cheap shots. And the parry, uh, the uh, parry. Uh, mm, bypass as well as that beautiful random burning although the oh, yeah. ui clearly told us that we're not burning or evidence of that great yeah, we don't need to uh, fight the last pack good and off we go off to the ascension gate Let's hope the whole fight against the Chosen does not have as much BS in it as uh, as we've encountered so far. Should have maybe brought one battle scanner just to scan her out. But then again, we do have Icar uh, the Icarus uh, suit. We can't just jump in the right di uh, direction and spot her out. That's oh, fine. Get ready, people. You know what's coming next. We indeed know what is coming next. Does that trigger? The answer is very much yes it does. Let's start with the Lancer. Lancing it a little bit down. Here trigger for free action. I like that. Almost down. Fabulous. Moving out for some solid action straight into his face. And whilst we're at it, how about Comet Presence hand over to Trojan. Continuing our massacre. Free hair trigger. Oh, it would have been too nice to hit all of them. Target asset located. Not exactly sure what we could pick up to from that position, to position, but okay. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. I'll keep it under watch. Good. We're going to move up. To the most frontline positions that are not going to trigger. On the move. Sure thing. Ready to go. Reloading. Oh, yeah. Reloading, reloading. And we're just going to wait for two turns because I want cooldowns back. Fantastic, Comet Presence is back. So let's start with uh, going for the Chosen. Move it up. All right, Menace, you know what to do. There we go. Uh, we'll teleport after taking damage, which uh, sucks. Uh, can summon advanced stun lancers, immune to melee, chance to return fire, and hates explosions and hates skirmishers. All right. Deploying grapple. 
Let us see if we can find her. Okay, uh, that is another crash to desktop. <laughs> the grappling hook is weird. All right, we are back. So this time I played everything uh, exactly as I did before, but I tried the other side for the grappling uh, hook. Wouldn't have made much difference. We spotted the Chosen out. In case you're ever wondering, so when the Chosen spawns, she can either hide here, 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 uh, so he over here, over here, over here, over here, or either of those two sides, or either of those two sides. Whatever is quote unquote out of line of sight. The moment that you can see all of it, uh, you're going to reveal her anyway. So, with that out of the way, let's make sure we're giving her a hard time. And first things first, we are going to shock her. There we go, nice little shredding. Okay. Um, what would be a great way of getting her? Mm, let's just start penetrating her from here. Well, that was not good enough, but we can continue. Ouch. That happens, I think, only once a turn. We definitely need to heal up. Move into here. Getting emergency eight. Healing XQR six. Good. So that has solved uh, this problem. Um, how do we continue with her? I think one of the options that we do have is just reposition to here. That'll be a flanking position. And that should hit her. Nicely, nicely so. I like it. Um yeah, I don't I don't want her to get a chance of uh, shooting us. So, yep, that is great. Can we place a mine underneath her? No, we cannot, but you know what? Um, a mine here isn't the worst idea ever. Just in case someone ever comes through. Um... Here we go. Good hit. It's a bit of a tedious situation to always fight her with that planeswalker ability. What I tend to do if enemies do have planeswalker is try my very best to just center in the middle of the room and take it from here. Uh, we could plasma grenade her. You know what, I'll just do it. We have one more. She's almost down. Take the other side of the room, for the love of God. No, she's not. Uh, she straight up refuses to do that, so out. we're going uh, to 
Just take some punishment from her. The elders send more to serve me. Yeah, that's not a problem. Let's see if she harbor waves. Yeah, I figured that that could be the case. We got plenty of mind shields, so should not be the biggest of our problems. That's why you pack mind shields, ladies and gentlemen, because you don't want that to happen. But we do have a stock on this one here, right? Yeah, superior stock. Which means that's an auto kill for her. So, moving closer. Getting her down. Cool. Now it's uh, all hands on deck. We need to get the capacitor down. In the meantime, Hogfight uh, will solo this guy. Maybe not, because he stunned him. And since the guy is stunned, that's a problem. We're just going to go here in case of something spawning. Confirmed. Moving up. And we want to get the sarcophagus down in one sitting. Here, but that really wouldn't help us uh, for repositioning purposes. XU6 has amongst uh, the highest damage with uh, his gun. So Comet Panels just to do that. And maybe we're getting lucky with a hair trigger. Yes we are. Fabulous. Is that a Chrysalid King? Oh lord, why? Okay, that was very, very unlucky with the spawns. Yeah, Chrysalid King. Yeah, and Viper Prime. Alright, we're going to get the Viper Prime with Hogbite. Good Viper Prime reacts, Hogbite uh, Blade Storms, and that is that. One down. Hogbite could move over here, and then the Stun Lancer will very likely try to lance him. And. That means he is dead. Can't deal with the Chrysalid uh, King now, so let's just freeze him. Come on, XCOM, for once, please. We're a bit in a struggle here. Frost bombing. Cool. Now he's frozen. We're going to place a nice... No, 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 no. We're placing a mine down here. 
There you go. And we're continuing to very much hit the sarcophagus. Hair trigger for free shot. I like that. Sarcophagus is almost down. So let me try something. Reload here. Shoot. That's good. Implacable uses the last Icarus jump. And you'll see in a second why. Sarcophagus. Yes, please. We're then going into advanced teamwork to hand that over. Okay, XQ, XQ, X, XQ6 uh, has enough ammunition left. With the capacitor damaged, the regeneration process has been interrupted. I believe now would be the appropriate time to take them out. Then you know what to do. Take that creature down. We do have two shots. Good. That shreds him completely. Moving over to here. And the stupid Chrysalid King is almost down. Of course, uh, they needed to spawn like the hardest enemy. Yeah, that worked very much as intended. Solve that problem, we don't want it, any poison to tick up, so we're okay. She has spawned here, so I would guess she's here or back here. This is the perfect position to spot her out. She could be also behind here, but yeah, it was way more likely that she's there. Yeah, how about you take all of the time to get amplified and then shut up. Okay, this here is a great hit. Removes a lot of cover as well. Fabulous. Okay. Ready to go. On the move. Moving over here. into solid cover but that's not good enough either 
Oh yeah, nice. Run gun gives us more movement. Fan fantastic. Just what I was hoping for. Eighteen points of damage. Nice little amplified, massive hit. Moving up. Oh, come on. Your training fails you. <laughs> Moves to here, flanks. We're going to go with advanced teamwork. And this is hopefully a kill. Okay. You will join your compatriots soon enough. Listen, just in case someone comes here. Fine. And we're reloading. RNG is not on our side this time. And sometimes you are not lucky. Just gotta accept it. Move on. Triple blinded is a nasty combination. But we managed to pull it off, Commander. If only we could see the look on the elders' faces. Okay, took a while. It was uh, the, it was a bit harder than expected, and as always, Planeswalker makes these fights a bit more messy than they need to be because she's always uh, jumping around. And I think personally, the Assassin is uh, the worst one of all of them to have Planeswalker because she can traverse the entire arena, then attack, deal damage, and so on and so forth. And she was on top of it melee immune, which makes it very hard to stick on her with a, uh, with a Templar, right? So that's not um, to say that there are any excuses for this fight. Uh, the fight went overall quite well. We still had healing left over. A little bit unlucky with the 80% shots uh, missing in a row and then the return fire on top of it. So yeah, I think the guys did well and I hope you enjoyed that sweet, sweet fight against uh, the Chosen. If you did, then leave a comment and a like down below. And since this is the last episode that I needed to re-record, everything is going to be back to normal from now on. Thank you for watching. Thanks for the patience and understanding and see you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.